Today, we are getting a new mattress. This one is super uncomfortable. The previous owners did get a mattress topper, but we still don't sleep well at night. This mattress is prison hard. Prison hard. Mm. Not that I know, but word on the street is that's what a prison hard mattress feels like. <laughs> so Amazon shipped our mattress, so we need to go pick that up, load it in the car, bring it down the dock, load it on the boat, and then it needs to expand for 24 hours, which works out great since we are spending the night with some friends. And then we'll try it out. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell to be reminded of all our future adventures, and welcome aboard. I'm gonna be very curious to see how this unfolds. <laughs> no, <laughs> you, you didn't just say that. I did that. <laughs> Even Leroy gave up. All right, let's go. This mattress weighs 125 pounds. I don't buy it. This will be interesting. Weighs more than I do. Okay, I'll get this in. Really? Push <laughs> back. Take the freight elevator. Yeah. Just <laughs> so not to be rude. This isn't that bad. Uh -huh. It's yeah. a queen size mattress and it's good it's this size because there's no way we'd get a regular mattress down into the master stair. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Not unless you cut it into three pieces and that kind of defeats the purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Life's never boring with you, baby. <laughs> so excited to sleep well. Me too. So this is why we're letting the lease go on this car and we're going to buy an SUV because this isn't fair to that car. We have too much boat stuff to haul around. Ready? Go for it. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. You're almost there. Look at that. If it's like a glove, queen size mattress in the back of your car. Like you do. All right, we'll get the cart, put the box in, haul it down to the boat. This is a hundred and a quarter. I'm super strong. <laughs> you are, baby. Smelly. <laughs> Pants are always falling down. Are. It's a real problem. Right. Okay, this will be fun. Getting this on the boat. You want some help? <laughs> I have a job to do. Oh, Here, give me the keys. I'll unlock the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't go out of here. Way too far. I mean, gosh. Back. Back, 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 back. Getting it through the salon should be fine. Going down this hallway shouldn't be too bad. Going down the stairs and around the corner. might be difficult. So, move the mattress topper next. I'll let the kids fight it out, see which one wants this. Truly. <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> so hard. So hard. Alright. Prison mattress. Prison. It looks like it. Yeah. And here's the only thing, this does have kind of a tapered, rounded area here. So if we did custom, they would have tapered this a little bit to fit in this well here, but $2,000 in a pocket, we can deal without having the rounded corner, I think. Yeah. Okay. I think they'll be just fine. Yeah. Ew. 
Yeah. Okay, so check this out. There's mildew underneath this mattress. Pro tip, we're gonna be putting down a vapor barrier so this can't happen. Because if you look at underneath this bed, you've got the AC unit sitting here. You have you know, all this access uh, to hatches and stuff. And that condensation, you know, inevitably in a boat is gonna come up through the bed. We try to keep a very dry bilge, but every now and then that can happen. So we don't want this. So we're putting down a vapor barrier. Blech. Blech. So here's our vapor barrier. Literally this has, uh, it doesn't let any condensation through it, which will be great because that way it keeps the mildew uh, from forming within the mattress and causing problems. The unboxing. <laughs> Just take it out of the box up here. Yeah. And then bring the mattress down to the room. Yeah, because if I remember correctly on these things, they- Wrapped in plastic. Yeah, they're in plastic. It will keep the shape. They're not that bad. How much do you think it weighs? Oh, 75 pounds tops. So if this doesn't work, yeah, we have to cut it this into is sections not like a body. <laughs> this is gonna be bad. Cross our fingers that mm -hmm. it's gonna be the most comfortable mattress we've ever slept on. That's right. Positive thoughts. That's what makes things work. You have the scissors? All okay. right, any last words before we cut this thing open and it becomes a it's gonna take up the whole room. Yeah. The whole room. <laughs> the whole room. The whole room. Ooh. There it goes. Breaking the seal. It's hissing. It's starting to expand. That's kind of freaky how it does that so fast. Is this your first uh, bed in a box? It's my second one. But the last one didn't blow up like a balloon that fast. So this is out of the wrapper for like, like 10 minutes. What's remarkable about this mattress is what it is not. It is not stinky. I don't know if you've ever had a bed in a box, but usually you open these things up and they reek. Uh, this particular one has a gel infused latex top that is also copper infused, which is supposed to be a big deal. I, I find that hard to believe, but uh, yeah, this is the Copper Rest Sleep is the brand and this one is the silver one and the silver is nine inches tall it's the firmest out of all of them uh, we picked the firm one because if it was any higher the original mattress here was only six inches tall and so if we would have gone to the 11 inch one or the 13 inch one it would have been too tall in the bedroom and to be honest with you this is about what we like uh, for firmness as well but I'm super impressed. We'll let this straighten out for 24 hours or so, but I, to be honest with you, I wouldn't be shocked if you could just sleep on it right now. And it doesn't stink. Wanna try it out? You're not supposed to lay on it for 24 hours. Ugh. I'm gonna sleep so well, finally. Oh. This is not gonna be fun. Hold on. So we tried it out last night mm -hmm. and it's a little firm. A little firm. So we're gonna have to put a topper on type of it. Um, I think what we're gonna do is put on a latex one so it breathes really well. Uh, dust mites don't like it either and it should keep uh, everybody cool in the boat. So we're gonna give that a go, right. And then we have to put a, a, a mattress cover on top of the thing as well once we do that. So. Unfortunately, it's gonna give us a little bit more height when we're done with that. Hopefully we don't need a ladder to get into the bed, but <laughs> I think it's like a hundred- Step stool. Yeah, 
Um, it's over 150 bucks for the, the topper and then putting a mattress cover on it as well. So we're still gonna be probably at like 1600 for the entire mattress, uh, which is still $1,000 to $1,200 cheaper than getting a custom mattress in here. Yep. So we'll let you know, fingers crossed, it works. You ready to put it on the bed? Yeah. All right, let's go. At least it's easier to go fit down the stairs. That's true. Then take it up. You gotta put it together. <sighs> Copper gel mattress so that you can sleep cooler. A little too firm. Piece of latex, soft, so you can sleep cool. A little more soft. And then a topper, even softer. If that doesn't work, well, nothing works. It's pretty tall. It's super tall. It's a little too tall if you ask me. You better sleep like a baby. Kind of nice. It's a little tall. Like a walrus. <laughs> I do. What do you think? Pretty comfy? It may not be quite as good as Alderbrook, but it's pretty damn close. How can it we'll not find be? Out as good. Tonight. Right? Okay. It's COVID time right there. So we have a situation today. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you have picked up on that I drive a Cadillac ATS-V. It's 2017, it's a wonderful car. Best car I've ever owned, and I've had a lot of cool cars in my life. However, uh, it is not conducive to the boating lifestyle as far as uh, dragging around dinghies or new davits or any of the pieces that you really need for a uh, boat. And Carlin has uh, a cool hardtop convertible. That's the car we want to keep to be able to drive around on sunny days. So that means... Cadillac's got to go. Besides, the lease is up here in a couple months. Yep. So now we are off to go pick up a used vehicle. I've uh, got an SUV, a uh, 2011 little Porsche Cayenne. It has a trailer hitch on it. We can drag around the Boston Whaler uh, and take care of, you know, dragging equipment, fenders, all other kinds of things in the back of the vehicle as well. So, sad day have this for a couple more months but go get the new car and that's what we're doing we'll be able to carry a lot more stuff you should see the trunk in the back of the cadillac it's <laughs> packed it's got dead bodies it, it yeah it's packed so uh this will be great to have and you can go skiing too yay all right so here's the new run around suv it's uh gray so it doesn't show too much dirt or dents. That's gonna be good. It's a little Porsche Cayenne. They seem to run pretty well. I had a couple Porsches along the way and the newer ones, you just change the oil in them like a Honda. And most importantly, it has a trailer hitch. Yay. That's really why we're here. Need that. Need that, one of the key pieces. Take it for a test drive. It smells like paint. I still smell the paint from the rear bumper. They repainted the bumper. There were some dings on the bumper. They took care of that. And then it didn't have a trailer hitch. So we got a trailer hitch put on it with the wiring. They put a class three on it, which I forgot to stipulate. <laughs> and I followed up with them afterwards and they took care of it and made sure it was good. So that was that was pretty cool. Huh? Right over there, across that intersection, is where I called Carlin to ask her out to dinner after I got out of college. And she just got engaged. To yeah. get married. Yeah. It was right there. I remember it. Just missed it. Just missed it. Had to wait 20 years. 20 years. <laughs> 20. It looks like we might have to change the battery. Battery. And then the airbag light came on. Ah, and that light came on. Ah. Alright, we gotta talk to the guys.